Joy Gang, or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is the Gifts of Joy. Thank you so much for choosing my video today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and become the Joy Gang. So, guys, I'm going to explain to you right now why I'm not going to show you an empty apartment tour. So what happened when I was shooting my weekend vlog, I accidentally deleted some footage from my empty apartment tour. So it didn't make sense for me to post some and not post the rest, you know. So I'm just going to show you guys my full apartment tour, not the empty one. I would have loved that. Yeah, what else did I want to say to you guys? Hmm. Another thing, guys, I would have loved to do this uh, whole apartment tour once the people came to clean the wall but unfortunately there was some miscommunication between us which is okay because they're coming next week to come and clean and i would just want to post this video and get over and done with it because i need to clear my space on my phone i have like very small space and i have a lot of content to post on all my social media accounts so yeah i also need to start a new vlog because i want to do uh spend a day with me during the week so that you guys see what i actually do during the week and there's a lot man that i still want to shoot and share with you guys so i need the space hence i need to get over and done with this vlog i hope you guys are going to enjoy this video and another thing i want to say is that i'm not going to be saying prices anymore in my videos i'm just going to tell you where i bought something if you really want a link to that um place i will um I'll give the link to you. You just have to tell me, then I'll show you. I'll, I'll share the link with you. And yeah, but I'm just going to mention where I bought each and every single thing, but I'm not going to post prices anymore. So yeah, what else? I wanted to say, guys, I didn't write down today, so that's why I'm all over the place, but it's okay. So, guys, let's get to the video. See you on the other side. Bye. Welcome to my bedroom, guys. This is a room where I spend less time ever since I removed my working desk. Anyways, guys, I got this mat last year from Emad. It was in our living room before, but I decided to, to move it to my bedroom because I feel like it fits best this side because the theme this side is black, white, and gray. And this bedding, I got it from at home. It's so silk. It's giving me luxury. It feels soft. I even bought a sheet, guys, because I wanted the full experience. It has this nice piping going on here. Guys, I love, love this bedding and I want to buy more from Granny Goose, even though they're very expensive, but it's worth every coin. I got this uh, throw from Mr. Price Home. I used to have a white one, but I damaged it because I washed it in the washing machine, but now I know better. And I bought this last year. You guys know this one from my famous bedding. I mean, and these ones are new. I got them this year from Mr. Price Home. They are fair down. They give me lungs on me. <laughs> and this pillow came with the bedding. I just wanted to show you here that it has the piping as well. It, guys, it's so soft. I wish I can sleep with it, but I don't do that. And the ones at the back, I, I, I had them since from last year. And this candle is from Charlotte. I don't know how to pronounce this name. It smells so good. I was mad that it, it's this small, but okay, it's worth it way too. And I got this old banner from Mr. Price Home. You put a candle here and then you put Amat drops at the top and then you lit your candle and then your whole room smells really good. You know, guys, I'm always about smells. And I got this... Um, side lamp last year from live and sustainable they are so affordable if you're looking for lamps or lights or whatever go to their website it's on google check them there they're so affordable on the side guys i have this diffuser it's not so strong which is good because in my bedroom i feel like you don't need strong diffusers and i have this candle i don't really like it it doesn't smell that great it's very strong for me but it's good for aesthetics and then this lamp i bought it from live and sustainable and then my pedestals i got them from instagram I highly don't recommend the person i'm just gonna recommend the person who did my tea stand for you guys because he did a good job shame 
Yeah, I'm who's in Germany? I'm a perfectionist. And then I've got this headboard from Facebook Market. Guys, please don't sleep on Facebook Market. Facebook Market sells good things. It's just that you need to do your research as well. Don't just dabble. Another thing I love about my bedroom is the fact that it gives you privacy with the bathroom. The other side is the bathroom and this side is my bedroom. So I get privacy even when I have a visitor and someone goes out the side, they can have their own privacy as well. And then here is my walk-in closet. I'm going to call it that because it's what they call it, but it's not really a walk-in closet. It's just a closet. You know, <laughs> Anyways, please don't mind the mess. I haven't packed this wardrobe. Anyways, guys, let's come to the side where there is everyone's favorite mirror, my favorite mirror, the world's favorite mirror. I mean, everyone loves this mirror. I love this gold lining going on here. That's what attracted me to this mirror. Funny how last year I wanted to paint this black, but I'm glad that I didn't do it. <laughs> let's come to my bathroom guys my bathroom is very small compared to what i used to have last year but i'm not complaining because this is a bathroom for one person not for two people i mean i love the new finishes that they have in this complex the older bathrooms are like the normal round stuff you know but now we have like the more little modern finishes going on anyways guys i did this um a diffuser last year at um the ganyu event when they invited me to that event and i bought the candle from checkers it smells really good but it's not that strong that's what i don't like about it i wish they can add more to the perfume you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying and next to my uh toilet i have this you know the famous no flush drops and i also have the baby soft wipes because i use the wipes as well and here's my cabinet where i store my cosmetics and there's me who's not wearing a bra please don't mind me and um there's my shower you know this is where you get is on zonke the nice thing about this bathroom is that we all have privacy. The person is in the bedroom and the person is in the bathroom. And this is my working space. I bought this table from Game and I bought the laptop stand from Mr. Price. It is wood and I normally have a hand sanitizer and a hand cream on my table all the time because I love sanitizing my hands meetings and moisturizing my hands you see guys this wall is really dirty it needs to be cleaned i can't wait for these people to come and clean their wall because it is annoying seeing this every morning and this chair i bought it from game guys it is so comfortable it is super comfortable it is worth the price not the best but very comfortable and worth it i have my laptop bag next to my desk all the time i bought this laptop bag from hyper car but the brand name is supernova so you can just google and you can find it from take a lot or anyway my bag guys is leather so that means it is easy to clean and the inside it is so nice this bag is also available in black if you want the black one i like the fact that it's not really giving a laptop bag but it is a laptop bag because i want to be safe when i'm walking on the streets and you see it has these things i'm just gonna I use a handy handy to clean them and that's it that's why i chose a leather bag and the leather shame is really good it's not so bad but it is really really good good quality leather and there is that mess that is going on that i don't like i still need to find something that i can use maybe to put those charges and all that i wanted to show you guys my balcony but i remembered safety first in south africa if you are a girl so i can't show you my balcony because it shows where i stay okay now we've moved to my tv stand i love this tv stand guys 
I bought it from this guy that you already saw. They are contact details. I don't really know their names because I got the number from Awako and she didn't tell me the name because she said the number is um, TV stand. And then this diffuser, guys, is from at home. It smells amazing. My whole flat smells amazing because of this diffuser. It's worth the price. And this is my late mom. It was a lot as anyways i see cool apple um and then these flowers that you guys are going to see on my next vlog where i bought them and uh, my tv it is a hisense 58 inches in case you're wondering my tv stand is two meter long and down there guys i have my router i'm just not a fan of features that are on display and this tv stand is not super super gloss it is gloss that is good quality not the greatest but it is good quality so it is worth it and this side i have my favorite thing which is my couch i bought this three-seater couch from at home it is a big three-seater i think four people can sit here Woody, i haven't uh, tried it but yeah it is quite a big three-seater i love this linen material i wanted suede but i was like no suede so it's best to get linen material i love the fact that it doesn't dirty i mean doesn't get dirty too easily so yeah man this is actually my favorite thing that i bought this year and these are the legs of my couch and i have this throw that i bought from mr price home you guys know this throw from my famous bedding and i have the pillows as well that are suede i bought them from mr price home as well you know them guys i'm still trying to figure out how to actually style a couch i don't even know where to start but i feel like this is an okay style it's not too bad but not great at the same time and i have this plain wall that i still need to put some deco i'm still planning and i want to take my time i don't want to rush and also this wall is dirty so i'm waiting for these people to come and clean it maybe once it's clean i'm going to be able to actually decide on what exactly i want on the wall wow and guys this is my living room my small space i still need to buy a table as well and then this is the kitchen my small small kitchen i'm so used to big kitchens because the old apartment had a bigger kitchen and this is like the mini pantry that i created for myself because i don't have enough space and i decided to buy canisters so that i i can store a lot of stuff and this is my fridge you'll remember this fridge from my old apartment and as the washing machine as well remember from my old apartment and this is the cupboard space it's not that small small but it is small compared to what i was used to and the side this is where i have my um microwave and it has some a, a space here as well where i put my old parts i still need to unbox the new parts but i'm gonna do it with you guys and yeah I'm just showing you what's inside my cupboards so yeah Honestly, there's no much difference from my old apartment. I still have like the same same things. The only things that change is the space. Now I have a small space because I'm in a one bedroom and I have a smaller bathroom and I used to have a bathtub. Now I have a shower. Those are the only changes, but I'm happy that everything is still the same. Oh, and guys, I have this famous tea towel from Country Readers for I mean, being in Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys that's what i have and the still and the nice thing about this apartment is it's brand new so i'm the first tenant here so i still need to sort out the oven because i haven't used it and 
and that's the view from the kitchen side you only see my desk and that's the view when you enter from the kitchen coming to the apartment so yeah now we have come to the end of this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed 